Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for experimental build 3 of update 113 of hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, it is still scopes. Tons of scopes. And uh, I'm actually almost done with them. Um, there's still a couple categories of stuff still to work on for them, and Ole is making us some brand new scopes, and we'll be doing that during the trip that I'm about to take for about two weeks. Um, but so let's just go ahead and jump in and check out. We've got a new, we got some new scopes to take a look at, and some rebuilt ones. Where to start? Let's start with some old stuff. So while I'm pulling this out, you might be like, why did this devlog get posted early? Well, the reason for that is that Anton uh, broke a tooth uh, two nights ago, and I am headed to an emergency dental appointment that is taking place when I would normally be posting this devlog, so decided to post it early. And if you're like, man, does that hurt a lot? It sure does. So here's our, our M1 Garand. Just wanted to show you how the M84 looks through that now, nice and clear. Ah, that glorious ping. We also decided to, I'm gonna put the used ones down here. You would never wanna do that with a real optic. They're quite sensitive. The uh, M1 prototype optic was actually re-implemented as a uh, using the pip scope system and it is super clear now it basically gives us just this like very very clear bold front post that uh honestly i quite like this i think this works quite well actually feels like an upgrade over the stock irons put you over here Let's grab, honestly, the part of the fun of doing these, uh, demoing all of these scopes is pulling out all of these various classics to take a look at. So if we grab ourselves an M2, we've got a, uh, I believe, yes, we've got the M84 that goes for this. Remember, with the M2, it has a switch all the way up here to actually turn it into full auto. Wonderful. So much clearer and straightforward to use. Put you over here. What next? What next? Ooh, the M76 sight looking gorgeous. Pop you out. Do, 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 do. That is not the gun I wanted. This one is nice and clear and we can um do i have a i believe i don't know if i have no i don't have a physical switch for this i need to go into this i might default the reticle color to on for this one just because it's significantly more iconic it's of course got the like warning label yeah on it for i assume the tritium that's in it should have probably looked that up Super clear and effective optic right there. I don't have a garbage can spawn, so we're just going to be stacking rifles to the side. What do we have next? Um, ooh, this is our MAS. This is this is one of our, our, our scopes that uh, was really not pleasant to use uh, prior to this migration that I feel... I mean, this is... This is still not a very good scope, but it at least feels like a accurate representation of a scope that isn't that great instead of a scope that isn't that great because the system in the game itself isn't great. So pull this right up. As you can see, our, uh, our eye box here is not amazing. We just got this whole thing right in our eye. At least the reticle is unambiguous, though. So there you have it. Rebuilt scope for the MAS 4956. What next? Let's switch over. Ah, well, let's do the, all the oldies first. Uh, we got our... Come on, Anton. Bolt action rifle. Do, do, do. K, 98K. Where are you? There we go. 
you can tell why I'm as peppy as I am, I am anxious about my upcoming <laughs> dental appointment, and I am dealing with that by just being, I don't know, uh, just a little intense. Wait, are you not? You know, you're the Lee Enfield scope. What am I doing? Have I already done the K90? No, you... What are you? Okay, you're the Python. You're the Lee Enfield. You're the K98K scope. There we go. Knew I should have had that in there. Look at that. That's gorgeous. S using slide bolting. If you're like, how's he moving that? Without grabbing it. Go onto the H3VR wiki and read about quick bolting and slide bolting. So there we have it. K98K scope. Looking nice and clear and gorgeous. Let's grab ourselves our Lee Enfield number four, Mark one. Pop on this. Another just huge beneficiary of the improved stuff. This one actually still has uh, a bit of distortion on it that I think is due to the UV on the lens. I should probably tone that down, but I, I wanted to demonstrate one of them like this because I just found it kind of charming but especially after running down the list of like eight scopes beforehand I should probably fix this there we have it Lee Enfield do 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 let's um oh our our python scope which someone had said to me that this has apparently been broken for like a while <laughs> Uh, which I was not aware of. I thought it was functioning fine. This is what happens when people don't file bug reports. But yeah, not broken anymore. Just take a look at that piece right there. Get our appropriate distance. Yeah. Works great. Honestly, like, seems to have an eye box more suited for pistol shooting than the Deagle scope or the Lion does. So, perfect for our very handsome revolver. Ha! That we then throw on the ground disrespectfully. Um, oh, <laughs> this is, I think, a really great example of just what an improvement this new scope system is. Even though this is for a rifle that I would really like to replace at some point, because the model is just wrong in so many ways. Um, and of course, folks have asked for the bayonet and things like that. Our, uh, well, let's load her up first. Because it's going to interrupt that. Our, I mean, you see a scope that long. And you're like, oh man, this is not going to, this is not going to be good. But honestly, like, surprise, like, like tiny overall lens size, but... Pretty functional to me. You know, this is a 7.8x if memory serves, so higher magnification than a lot of our other classic scopes. As long as you can keep yourself steady, you can repeatedly hit things at quite a distance with that. So hopefully that is now something that when it comes up and taken hold, folks will actually want to use. Oh, moving along into our modern stuff, we have the, what are you? You are, you're the AR-18 scope, which this is technically a duplicate, because I think it's technically the same scope as our uh, C-601, but we'll shoot it anyway, because that's how we're just showing off every one of these scopes. And I mean, AR-18 is so handsome. How could we pass up an opportunity to send a mag through this? Wonderful. I think this one might actually have reticle variation. Yes, we can do inverted post or crosshair. So based upon if you'd rather have that or that. Honestly, I like the inverted post because if you're coming up at a weird angle and you're trying to figure out like, oh, am I too, way too high or way too low? It helps you find the center faster. So there you have it. Remade AR-18 scope. Pile of guns. A G3 
SG-1 is next on this list. As I said, it's it's part of what's fun about redoing all these scopes across all these eras is just having a reason to pull out and re-show off so many weapons from so many eras. We've got a uh, variable magnification on this. So we pull this up here, grab our indication. So here it is at min, there it is higher, and then there it is at maximum, which is, you know, Quite effective looking. Oh yeah. Beautiful stuff. Definitely will use this more as a result of it. Um, we have the, uh, here we can finally grab this sucker here and uh, check out our pick rail ones. We have our, uh, our ham combo scope, which if memory serves, this one has a fairly tight eye box. Yeah, that wants to be right up here to see. And do we have a, yes, we should have a dial here for reticle illumination. Boom, turn that on, makes that clearer to find. Wonderful. Turn that off. We have our brand new uh, 4X uh, ACOS in game, as it is called, that uh, has a whole bunch of options. This is a TA01. Um, we have a couple more variants coming. Uh, this has, so there we have that like tight eye box and that tiny chevron that we all know and love. We have a whole bunch of options for it though. So we can change its color between red green, and amber. That's more yellow, but the way it was listed, one place was amber, weirdly enough. And then we've got uh, reticle type, which is chevron, crosshair, chevron with 150 marks, horseshoe dot, and donut. So yeah, so tons of configurability. On that, and we've got that, of course, in pick rail mount version and a version that mounts onto carry handles. So if you want to run one of these on an A2 or something like that, already got it set for you. And now we have a brand new optic, which I haven't even memorized the name of. This is the VRZ. This is replacing a whole bunch of scopes in the game that we're removing this week that were either just, I don't know, just like clearly random scopes that 3D artists who didn't know what scopes like actually do sort of like pull the numbers out of the air or they're like Walmart specials or just the model is just really, really bad. So this is designed to fill in for a whole bunch of replaced scopes by having a huge lens. It's six to 36 magnification with a really easy to grab fast magnification uh, slider right there. So here it is down at six X. The reticle's a little thin because of this being a front focal plane. We've got a dial to, however, that we can turn up our... Oop, that might be... That's bugging on me. I need to see what is going on there. Probably just don't have it plugged in in the right place. But yeah, so that's there, and we can... So that's it. This is at 6x. Very shootable. Here it is up at 15 And amazingly, look at the clarity and still stability here. This is up at 36, which is just bananas. Look at how clear that is. Look at, I'm, mind you, I'm using stabilization by holding down the trigger on my forward hand. So that's what helps engage stabilization there. Look at that. So that, I mean, man, this is, if I'm, if I'm rolling a scope... In taking hold in most circumstances, this is honestly probably what I want because we can just 6x is low enough magnification that I can still engage fairly close um, with that and not feel if I'm not just 
if I'm not just point shooting over the top. And then 36, I, you're gonna outrange pretty much any SOSIG that ever be shooting at you with this. Wonderful, just wonderful. So that is a brand new one. And then the last one, this is a scope that never worked correctly. And I just sort of like, you could say like punted once I found out like, oh, it doesn't actually uh, work. Um, because the rail mount for the QLB-06, which is our absolutely enormous grenade launcher, the rail mount's at this weird angle, and the scope is at this strange angle. So this just, I basically put this into the game, but the scope was just broken, and I was like, oh, maybe people won't notice. Um... But this is now in here, and this is, this is, mind you, because we can't find information on it, this is a completely fictional reticle that's on here. There's, like, no info on this at all. So Ole basically authored something that is based upon a whole bunch of similar reticles, and we, like, ran all of the numbers. So what's interesting about this is that this has... Uh, like, you basically want to tip this down slightly if you're firing at direction, and then every row of these plus signs that you see in the reticle is another 50 meters. So this is one of the rare instances where, like, technically, the center of the reticle texture is zeroed for, like, 250 meters so that we could fit the whole thing onto there. But if I wanted to just direct fire at the uh, paper there, I would aim with the top piece there. So there you have it. Our wonderful scope update. This update isn't going to be going live right at seven, probably, because I probably won't be back from the dentist appointment. And even if I am, I will probably still be slightly blissed out on dental sedation. But I will set this actual update alive basically as soon as I have the energy to. I'll, I'll send a, a, a ping out on the Discord. Um, but yeah, so the rest of my afternoon is going to be not fun. Um, but I hope you all at least had, uh, had some fun watching me show off our new updated optics and we'll have fun with this. Uh, yeah, once I get it to set it live, remember, I'm not going to be here next week or the week after I'm going to be traveling touring all, all over the Northeast, seeing family and friends and such. But when we come back, we'll have the finale of this scope project. We'll be pushing it uh, live to main branch, and I've got something extra secret and special for you folks for the main branch push of 113 that I will show you then. Anywho, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and I'll uh, talk to you all soon. Peace.